Hey, welcome back to the Career Build series. This is episode um, 69. And so I had an issue with the last um, recording. It was a nice long one. Finally did the long-awaited um, uh, fuel trading. Uh, took a barge. So it ended up uh, and here at the... Uh, so anyways, I left Komodo after dropped off the containers from the uh, Mac Pinnacle and headed over to the career... Um, starter base here to the beginner base to put out a fire put out the fire and then I started the mission where I took uh, Rijo and uh, one of the barges up to the refinery and I grabbed some diesel and then I headed back from the refinery all the way down here and sold the diesel at this cell point here and so um, everything looked great I put up the I uh, checked the video and for some reason the audio was stuttering, so I figured nobody's going to want to listen to stuttering audio. So I've been playing with a new mic so and uh, all the settings for that. I'm back on my Bose um, headset just doing that. So um, hopefully, you know, um, we don't have any audio issues. So um, I kind of scrapped that video. Um, so I just want to kind of go through what I did. Was So it essentially did a uh, diesel run. So came up here, fought a fire, went up um, to the refinery, which is here. Uh, grabbed some diesel, came all the way back down here, uh, sold the diesel, and then there was a, a little problem that I thought was quite comical and was fun, um, which would have been made for a great video, but again, the audio was messed up. Um, so what I should have done is I should have refueled while I was there getting diesel. I forgot to refuel Rijo, so I got all the way down here, and I had 17 gallons of diesel left, and so that was a problem, and so what I ended up doing was I thought I had enough to get back, so I, I think I had 12 gallons when I left here. So I came over here, and right here is where I ran out of fuel. So I swam, or no, where was it? Right here. So we uh, ran out of fuel right here, and so I swam over to Draymore, and I made a jerry can. I swam back, plugged the jerry can in, and had enough fuel to get back to Spy Cakes. So um, unfortunately, you know, that video, uh, something's up with that. The audio is a mess, so I... Uh, decided just to scrap it and uh, so that gave us some money so we're now back up to a hundred and six thousand um, dollars we made about sixty thousand dollars in profit on that maybe maybe fifty between fifty and sixty thousand so that's where we are um, so sorry we don't have that but um, you know the video got screwed up so um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go ahead and start working on the Katie did some more. So I'm back. I'm in my test world, and I'm at Dre Moore. And so I'm going to start um, working on the uh, Katie did some more. So there, there are some things I want to do to this. Um, I think I'm going to widen it a little bit. I think that will both be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, and it will um, give it a little more, little bit more functionality. Um, and so I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, to make this a little bit more useful. I want this to be a good utilitarian helicopter, and so I was trying to make it a little bit too small, I think. So I think I'm going to go ahead and um, enlarge this a little bit. And that should help me with some things. I, I have a list of things I want to do with this, so it's going to be another build video. Um, you know, it's going to seem like build videos back to back at this point, but that was a good long mission doing a couple missions, but like I've said, the audio. It was either corrupted or I did something wrong. I, I got the new microphone. I've been playing with all sorts of modulators and everything else, trying to get the sound right. So it could have very well been a me issue, but um, you know, we just don't have the good audio for that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stretch this whole helicopter by one block on either side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just selecting everything here um, and coming all on down, and then that should allow me to um, just move this over one block. This is I'm doing this for a number of reasons. Um, one, I, I really want some more room in the engine bay. Um, I also want some more room in the cabin. So this should help me with that and get this going. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this and we're going to move it out one block. And I already screwed it up. Okay. That's two blocks there. So let me just try to fix this here. Okay, so I need to move this side in one. All right, so we're going to move all this out one block here. And so that's going to go out one block like that. 
And then we're going to come grab this side here and we'll make sure we get it right. There we go. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to move that out one block. And that should be one block. Yep, that's one block there. Okay. All right, and so I'm just going to stitch in some blocks here, and then we'll be able to rejoin this. And um, this is going to make my cockpit a little bit bigger. I'm also going to do some um, some re-sculpting here and reshaping. If I can click the right blocks, that is. So this should give me a lot more room to be able to um, get some things fixed. Um, it was sitting a little bit, it was a little bit tippy as well because it was so uh, narrow. So this should help with that and help us get a uh, little bit better functioning helicopter. Okay, so let's see. So now that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Um, I don't have anything that wide. Me, actually, I have to go back, I think. Kind of changed. I was going to put in pillars in here, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to put some pillars in here, so let me add in some stuff. So, you know, a big uh, thing that motivated this was, you know, stability. I also want to have um, some more space. So I may just glass this out. I'm probably going to end up glassing this. Um, I just kind of look and see if, yeah, see, that's too, too obstructive of a view there, and I don't like how it looks either. So I'm going to put, I'm um, just going to go ahead and make windows there. So it's going to be a little bit chunkier. Um, I think that's going to look nicer. And then I'm going to edit this tail section here. This can go uh, I'm actually not liking that. Let me let me bring back up the old Katie did and I'm going to uh, I'm going to do it a different way. So I'm going to keep the cockpit this size and I think I'm going to try let me see if I can swell the blocks. I kind of like it the width it is. Um, yeah, I kind of like this front section. Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep it the way it is. Um, I might change something in the back here. I'm trying to decide. I might widen out the back here one. That might be what I do. So let me currently, let me yank this door off here. Um, trying to do this in the most reasonable way possible here. Okay, so let's try to um, see if I can't fix this a little. So I want to make, so I'm going to actually delete out this door. This door is has, is going to cause me problems. Um, you know, it, it interacts with that uh, cockpit door. So I've kind of decided I want to redo the doors here. So I'm kind of just doing a bunch of rebuild here. Um, I want to widen this, this cabin out. Um, I kind of like the the door for the actual Katie itself the way it is um, but I'm not a huge fan of actually I'm gonna delete out this whole door here I'm gonna redo a bunch of that um, you know, I'm trying to get this functional alright so I want to widen the back section is that was one of the big things I want to do here um, so I kinda like that narrow front cockpit um, we're gonna have more than enough space for gauges. That was a concern was if I was gonna have enough space for gauges and everything and controls, but I think we should be fine on that. And so I think what I'll do is I'll fatten up the walls here of the back of the Katie did. And so let me see. Um, yeah, I kind of want to make the interior a little bit thicker. And so let's go ahead, and I think we're pretty much symmetrical there. Let me um, add. Okay, so that's going to be the front wall there. And I kind of want to fatten this back section up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting. And then this, all this, even though that's, you know, necessary piping, that's not hard to route, especially if I make this larger. It's going to be even easier to route. So um, I'm going to start deleting a bunch of this. You know, this is kind of a normal part of the build process is, you know, you get, um, if it doesn't have some of the functionality you want, just kind of retooling and ripping some stuff out. And so what I was thinking, and one of the big functionality reasons I'm doing this is I want to be able to, I'd like to be able to put a door in the bottom so that we can use the winches out of the bottom. I think that is an attractive idea to me. 
Um, that's going to make it a little bit easier to do um, actual rescues and work. And so um, I think that's important to do. So let me see how I want to do this here. Um, let's start here by. All right, so where's. So this can go here. Um, get rid of some symmetry. I have some asymmetrical parts here that I need to worry about. I'm going to rip out the fuel tanks too. Um, there's a bunch of work I want to do in the front here. So this I want to have it three blocks wide because I don't want the prop coming out that bottom there. I want it to be a block lower. So I should have symmetry on. And so this is going to give us a larger engine bay. It's going to also um, square this off a little bit more. I think that will be helpful to um, to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So these here can be deleted, and then that's going to go regular block, inverse pyramid, like so. All right, so that's now has the prop more centralized in a center section, like that. All right, and then now I'm going to carry it down. And so this should give me a lot more space um, for engine components, which is something I want. I want to be able to kind of rework this engine, get it in there, uh, make a little more space. So that's a little bit more spacious. And that's going to be important for us to uh, make sure we can fit everything in there component-wise. All right, so that's um, a little bit more symmetrical, a little square. I like that. That's going to give me more space for some of my engine components. Um, there we go. We'll go like this. All right, so that's starting to get more where I want it um, space-wise in the front. Also, I want to put a, lar a higher, um, I want to put a higher prop RPS in here, and so um, I'm going to need to move the engine back. So I need all that space. So I'm going to go ahead and start deleting out all our side blocks here. Uh, this engine is going to get a big rework. You know, it's kind of it's tough sometimes when you have to when you end up having to do a bunch of ripping and getting things where you want them. But um, I think the end product is going to be much better. All right, so now um, I need to start stretching this back here. And so what I'll do here is I'll start with, um, I'll start by putting in some blocks here. I'm going to start stretching this out. I didn't mean to do all of that. Let me see, go straight up and then there. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to start coming out again. So I'm going to use a one block here. And so it's going to start to widen up. And we'll, you know, I'll, I'll integrate that a little bit better, but I'm just trying to get my walls in here. All right, so what I want here, I think, is let me try to find a way to get this integrated better. All right, so we'll do a one by two wedge here, and then we'll go to one by fours. And that will go like that, and then so I'm going to put a small door on the side instead of having that big honking door. And then um, I want one of the reasons I want to make this wider is I want to be able to have a belly door that um, will actually be how we go up and down on our cable to do rescues. Um, I think that's better than a side door. It's I've I've done side doors before and they work fine. I've done rear ramps. I kind of want to do something a little different and have a belly door. That'll be a little bit different and interesting. Okay, there we go. So we're starting to widen out there at the uh, right behind the cockpit, which I think I prefer this a little bit here. Um, and then, let me see if I can find a pyramid there. All right, so there we go. So that's going to widen here. I like the look of that already. And then, um, let's see where we're at here. Try to get that in there. Okay, that's integrated now. That's good. All right, and so now this is going to be our new width, 
And so I think that's going to be much better. That's going to give me a nice bit of width to uh, to work with. Width and width. All right, so that there is going to, that extra um, width is going to make it a lot easier to try to do, um, to have some more cabin space and also to be able to do some rescue equipment in there. So those are those. Okay, good. So we kind of know what our space looks like in here. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete a bunch of this plumbing. Um, that way I don't have any extraneous blocks that I have to deal with. Um, kind of informs how I'm going to set up my interior space. So any blocks I don't need like that. All right. So now I need to start worrying about my seating. So I'm going to just delete. I'm going to delete this whole wall here, and then I'm going to put up a block wall. So it, it's a it's a big redo here, but um, I think the end product is going to be much better. And uh, kind of go there. All right, so those can be wedges, like so. see what what needs to go there that actually can be nothing that's fine that's where the door will go okay so um so currently now we have um you can see it has a little bit of a fatter uh rear profile i like that that's looking a little bit better there um and now we have some more space so now i'm going to try to see how i'm going to set up this roof line so i need to kind of put in some block to um to take some of the sharpness off the edges here um so start doing this. All right. All right, and so just put in some of these blocks and get rid of some of the sharpness. Alright, and so the uh, what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to get to a sp uh, place where I can now know what my so I can now know what my interior is going to look like so that I can go ahead and start putting my seats back in. I really want to get some seats back in here so I know where that door is going to go on the floor. Um, so I really need to figure out that. And that will tell me where I would want to put a back wall as well. And I don't want a ton of seating. This is not meant to do like 28 person rescues. This is meant to be kind of on the smaller side of things. So I think this is going to be my back wall right here. So this here will be my back wall. All right, so there we go. I'm going to put in some wedge blocks here. And I actually kind of need to come down a little bit. Uh, let me see. Yep, that's not bad there. And that's going to be the regular wall. So this is going to kind of inform some seating here. Can I get two padded seats in here is the question. I can. Oh, I cannot. Can I not put two in there like that? Okay, so those interact with one another. All right. All right, so those are necessary blocks there. see where I want to be here. So let me put some wall in here. And then I need some two buys there. I'm just trying to kind of feel the space out and see where I can fit some stuff. Um, also, I don't want it, you know, what's going to be unseen area and what's going to be seen area. So 
What is that? Why is that not fitting there? So what is this? What's the dimensions of that there? Okay, those are one by fours. That'd be why. Okay, one by fours here. All right, so there's the interior, um, kind of fleshed and embraced out. So now I need to. Um, yep. So now I need to kind of get in here and figure out how I'm doing seating, and that's going to tell me where I need to put my um, my hatch to go. Um, down. So I want to. So essentially, what I want is I want to see those. Uh, that's like still there. So I'm gonna have to put this more forward, I think. Um, so essentially, I want a door here that will open, and then the winch will drop us straight down from there. Let me see how I want to do this. Um, so I need some tail space for microcontrollers too. I might just do this. Might make this a little bit of a cramped interior. So I might cramping up this interior a little bit, but that's going to make it a little bit easier to because I have to worry about I need some space to hide some plumbing and some microcontrollers. So actually I don't want that there. Um, let me actually undo a bunch there. Okay, so let's go here, and then I think I'm going to actually make this back wall a little bit closer in to where we are. So right here, I think I'm going to make that back wall. Yeah, I think right here is about where this back wall is going to go in. So the back wall is going to go in like this. And so I need one more set of block here. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be the back wall. All right, so now that's where my back wall is. So squares up the interior a little. And I'm going to start putting some seats in here. So they need to be a couple spaces. They need a, at least a two aisle in between them to be able to fit. So there's seats. So that's going to be my seating. And so that's four. That's six. That's eight. All right, and then I'm going to put the door on one side. So I'll lose some symmetry on that, but that's fine. Put them in, and then I'll take symmetry off. Okay, so right there, that's six. That's seven. All right, we have plenty of room for me to put in some doors and have some overhead winches. Okay, so let me take off symmetry, and then my door is going to be on this side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. That's plenty. I can also have people standing when they're inside. All right, so there's that, and then I'm going to take symmetry off. I'm going to put the door. So that will be our new door, I think. And what I might do is put one winch going off the door and putting one winch going off of the center, because what I want to do is I want to come up on one winch by myself, and I want to have the other winch carry up the, uh, the rescued person. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, symmetry, please. Thank you. Okay, and then so I think like this, and then I want to get working on that central door. All right, so that's going to be in this area here. So this is going to be a door here. All right, so the plan is to have the winch go down. Um, the door will open, the winch will go down, and then it'll come up, and then the door can close, and you can then stand on the um, on the spot there. And then all these blocks, except these, will be uh, equipment because this these two blocks here are part of a wedge. And then this, as you can see, this gives me much more. I have to delete another wall in here, but um, so let's I'll delete this wall out. You see, so now we have more space for microcontrollers. So that was, you know, a worry was that I was not going to have enough microcontroller space. Um, so this kind of fixes that issue and gets me to the point where I can have plenty of microcontroller space in here. Yeah, so see how now we have more space for microcontrollers. So that was, that was a concern. All right, so now let's figure out this door.
All right, so let's try. Um, Hinge. Okay, that's going to only make it too wide. So I think we're going to do a pivot. Doesn't need to be watertight. This is not going to float anyway. All right, so now I'm going to have a door here. This can go there. All right, so now we're going to have a door here. And so I'm trying to think if I can start this open, how much space we're going to have. I think I can start this door as open, so that's what we're going to do, and then we're going to close it. So um, what I'm going to do is grab this, and I'm going to reverse it. So cut it, U, and then... Um, Use not what I want. Um, I, or was it O, I think was what I wanted. All right, so now the door is, so what I want to, the reason I'm doing this is I want to be able to put in these, um, these corner blocks. I'm going to kind of make it an oval door. So the only way you can do that is starting it in the open position. All right, so this is, would be that block there. And then, um, so it's going to be three, so we need to make sure that the helicopter is that far off the ground, which um, is fine. I'll, I'll stilt it a little bit. As long as it can, it can close on spawning, we're fine. Yep, we need to turn on symmetry. And then I'm going to make a window here. All right, so that's a little uh, looking window there. Actually, I'm going to do it like that. All right, so there we go. We have a we have a little hatch that's going to open on the bottom here, and that's going to allow us to um, drop down on the. That will allow us to drop down. Uh, I was almost thinking of doing a sliding hatch, but I think I'm going to keep it like this. Let me look at hatches. Could do a sliding electric hatch, maybe. Um, Yeah, that might be better if I have space. I think that might be better if I have space. Yeah, I'm going to do a sliding electric hatch. It's going to take out some complexity here. Um, yeah, I think that will work better. Um, and then so I'm going to take a sliding electric hatch. And so I want this side. I want it like that. Okay, it's going to be annoying. It's not going to be placed without putting a helper block in there. A little helper block. We'll put. Let me drop it in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab it. So I think this is gonna be a little bit easier and more efficient to work with. Okay, just like that. Okay, beautiful. All right, so that's a little bit easier. Then I don't have to jack this up higher so that we can have space. So that that hatch is gonna open. And uh, that will allow me to go down. So I need to put a, let me see how much of this I can delete out. I think I can't delete too much of this out. Yeah, I actually can. Okay, so all that space I can kind of, I can regain that space. Um, yeah. Okay, so I can re kind of regain some of the space. Um, let me, so that's pretty good there. I think that's better. Um, that allows me to square this up a little bit better. Um, let's see. I kind of want to convert this over to one buys here. I'm trying to try not to take up too much space with you know smoothing here. And I think we'll smooth by one by wedges here. That'll give us a little bit more headroom, a little bit more working space, like so. Okay, that's better there, like that. And then that should make it easier for me to plumb in, um, 
plumb in some of my stuff. Let me see if I can, how much of this I can delete. Yeah, so see, I'm actually going to delete out some of this. Um, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave what I uh, kind of need. Yeah, I'm just trying to get as much headroom as I need as I can have. So adding those two buys, they take up a lot of space. So I'm just trying to get this as kind of thinned out as possible. Um, I don't want to take up too much of my interior space, and I need to be able to mount winch, a at least a winch on there. Yeah, so this is a little bit better. It's a little less elegant, but it's um, takes up a lot less space, I think. All right, and so we have the last blocks here to kind of join up. All right, it's a little less elegant than the other one, but it's, yeah, I don't like it at all. Um, I think we're all right with the way it was. That's better there, I think. That still gives us some good space when we have that. So let me, um, let me put this all the way to the bottom. That's down, and let me grab some pinky blocks. I'm just going to suspend this off block so that I can um, kind of check the interior, see how I like the interior um, in-game and live. Okay, there we are. So let's kind of look inside here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so that's good. I can stand up in here. We have plenty of seating here. Um, you know, this person sits on the edge of the hatch, which is fine. Uh, make sure I can fall through this hatch, yay. Okay, and then the other winch will be on the door here. All right, so that's good. Um, that helps. All right, so let's um, let's check uh, where this winch is going to go. So I want to let's look at winches. Okay, so most likely we we'll do this twenty meter winch. Um, and I need it to go right over there somewhere. So right about here, I think. Right. Can I cut any of that? Oh, I can cut all of that. That is, oh, nope, that's where the rotor is. Um, can I cut into the side for the rotor? I can't. So I can't use that space there. I can use the space behind the cockpit, though. Okay, perfect. So I think that will be where the winch is going to go. Let me try it. Alright, and so that will go straight down. Let's see if what this looks like if I get rid of those. That's not terrible. That gives me a little bit more headspace too. I think that's fine the way it is like that. So that winch will come down. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is keep that like that. Let's get rid of this. And then I need to put in something in here. So I'll just do block across there for now. That's fine like that. And then I want to put the winch on this side. All right, so there we go. I think that's good. So that's going to bring the winch directly down above the hatch. All right, and that's good. Um, let's start working on this door. So what I think I'm going to do is there's a trick with velocity pivot where you can make it behave like a regular pivot. So I'm thinking that's what I want to do. 
Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. So let's get rid of symmetry. Um, see how I'm going to have to put this in. Three blocks. All right, so we're block shy of what I need. All right, so let's see. So proof of concept, I'll do it out here in pink, and then you can kind of see it. So this is how the winch I want to work. So I want to put in a velocity pivot. All right, so this allows me with a PID to make this go 360 degrees and stop where I want. And then I'm going to take a winch, and I want the winch to kind of sit on the end of the pivot like this. And so what will happen is when the door opens, this will rotate the winch out. So I think what I'm going to need to do anyways is drop this down a block. And then I'll probably do something like this. And then to get the, the reach on it, I need to go something like this. so that when that goes out, that spins the winch out. So that's kind of what I want. All right, so velocity pivot can go inside here. Our velocity pivot will go there. Let me try. I'm just checking mechanically. Um, I think I can go up one block like that. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to put a. Just trying to think out the geometry in my head here to make this work, so. Yeah, that's going to be kind of in the way, but it's going to poke out when, uh, when the door opens anyways, so. As long as we can duck under it, I think we're good. probably want to go up one block with this. I think that's what I'll do is go up one block with this. And that still gives us us gap so if I just want to use the other one, I can do that. Okay. So that should be going that should roll out, and then this up here will be part of the door, so that will accommodate it. So that's going to be all door. So I think I'll put the door, um, go like this on the door. All right, so just kind of work in the angles here. Again on this side. That's right, so now on pivots. And this door can start in the closed position. All right, and now I start building up the door. Merge these two together. Okay, so now we have the, the beginnings of a door here. So I'm trying to think if I want to make this part of the door. I might make that part of the door like that. Then I can put the window symmetrically where it is on the other side. Yeah, like that. That way it's symmetrical. Okay. So that will be the door. All right, so I'm going to do two... Um,
Alright, so I need a keypad and I need a throttle. So this throttle is going to go right here for the, put it here for the door. I want a keypad here. So the keypad is going to control the winch um, for that to come out, and then this is going to control these two pivots. This would be, uh, that should be one zero. Okay, that's good. Let's uh, spawn this. Let's make sure infinite electricity is on. Okay, so let's uh, work this door. So first we want to just open the door. Okay, then what I want to do is I want to put in a number here. Let's do point 0.1. Okay, that's fine. It looks it looks ugly, but um, that's just telling me geometrically how I have to fix this. Okay, so where's the door frame? Okay, so that's in the way, so it needs to... Okay, so this needs to be part of the door, these three up here. That's fine. That could be part of the door. Door's a little bit taller than I like, but it's not the end of the world there. Alright, let's try this again. Let's open the door. Alright, now let's try a point. We'll do point oh one. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, good. That's fine. I know it looks worse than it is, but uh, all right. So now let's actually make this work with a microcontroller. That's going to be better. All right, so um, let's delete these. All right, so what I need to do is I need to figure out what number that um, velocity pivot goes to. Okay, so I need to have a panel come in, so that's going to be a composite. Then I need to go out to, let me, see, let me make this bigger right now. Alright, so I need a number out for the door. I need a number out for the velocity pivot. I need a, I'll actually widen this up, we'll make this winch, I'll do the winch control separate. One thing you have to be concerned about is the, um, you know, if you make many small microcontrollers, it's a lot easier to, um, it's going to be a lot easier for you to hide them on the build. If you make them big ones, there are very few spots you can hide big ones, so by making some smaller ones, um, little tiny areas, you can easily put them in. And that's going to be the electric hatch there. Alright, so let's go and start doing this here. Electric hatch is backwards, I need to fix that. But um, So we'll imagine the panel, so it's going to be a push button on the panel. Alright, we're going to make it... Um, do I want a push button on the panel? I think I make it a, a double-sided toggle on the door. Yeah, so I think I'm going to make this a little different. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to make it a double-sided toggle. I, I would rather a... Um, Rather do a toggle, but then I have to do two panels, one on, um, to make it work. So let's start with a toggle. I can always change it later. All right. So um, let's see. All right. If we're toggled, um, we need a numerical switch box here. Um, zero is default. One is going to be the. This this is just for the regular door, so that when we toggle it, the door opens. And then I need another numerical switch box. All right, this will go here, and then this gets a little more complicated for the turning a velocity pivot into essentially an infinite range um, regular robotic pivot. All 
All right, and then so this is going to be the set point that goes back to itself and then out. Put a, a um, constant number of one here. Okay, that's good. And then the toggle is going to toggle that. All right, so now I just need to get a number from the velocity pivot. All right, so I shouldn't have deleted everything. Um, let me let me put the toggle in here. Okay, that's in there. Okay, so that's going to go to toggle. This is going to go to the door hinges. And then I'm going to do a keypad again. And that's going to control the velocity pivot. And then I need to need to try I need to jump up in there. I need to read uh, where the velocity pivot gets to. So Okay, so this is going to be um, 0.01. Then I need to get in there. All right, so now I need to read this pivot, and I need to see, okay, that's rotation speed. I'm trying to remember how to do, uh, I think I have to do a big pivot to make this work, because I have to be able to read it out. I do, I need a big pivot to be able to make this work, because I can't read it, which is annoying. I wish they would change that. Okay. So that's fine. Um, we have the space for it. Um, it's kind of obnoxious. You know, one of the things that uh, the criticism I have is a lot of the parts, they could be smaller and they're huge. And, um, you know, like this is going to cause me problems here. So, like, I have to put, oh, that's going to be a big pain in the butt. Mm. All right, so, so what I was going to do is in order for, to make that work where you can turn that into an infinite pivot, essentially, you need to be able to need to be able to um, read its read its current rotation and I, I can't read its current rotation because of how it works all right I'm going to simplify this I didn't want to have to simplify this but um, I'm going to have to I kind of want to keep it the way I had it but um, Again, it's a constraint of the game. You need one of the larger velocity pivots and able to be able to make that work, what I wanted to do. so. But I can make this door shorter again, so um, swings and roundabouts. This will also help me simplify this winch a little bit. Arr, that's going to be ugly if I do that. Um, no, I can make it work. Again, another thing that's uh, kind of I find obnoxious is on the winch here, it has that pipe in the back. I wish you could hide the pipe because, you know, I wanted it, I wanted it, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a transponder there. Just a little piece of detail. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So I wanted, I want to do it like this so it's more flush mount. I need to, okay, let me see. Okay, I just want to make sure I have the orientation right. So see how I can see the pipe? So I'm just going to put a transponder on there. It's often what I use to hide those, just so you can't see the pipe. Um, it's kind of annoying, but... And then this here probably... I uh, can't do that, because it's going to be in the way. Um, yeah, see, I need to put this as a wedge or something so that I can get the um, get that in right a little frustrating. Um, or I can make it even simpler. Let's make it even simpler and let's not screw around too much. I can always dress this up later. This is going to be the winch that I'm going to use to bring the people up anyway, so I don't need it to be... Um, I don't actually need to yank them off of this. I don't, I don't need to be able to pull them in because I'm going to grab them as a person, so... This can actually stick out like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stick it out like that. All right, so there is my winch. Um, 
make it much simpler not gonna have to worry about it too much but um, as you can see that's gonna open up they're gonna come up on this winch I'm gonna come up in the center winch and then so we'll come up together because you know I need to do that to be able to get them and then when they come up here and I'm inside I'm, I can close this door I can grab them off the thing and put them in a seat then when I go back down I send both winches down so that works a little bit of a clearance here walk at me walking out but let me do something to give me a little more headroom I don't mind crouching to get out but let's do this that's just for a little bit more headroom and let's see if I can walk out without banging my head on that Still need to crouch a little bit, but that's not bad. Okay, so that's pretty good there. All right, so that's that's a lot simpler, and then I can control it from the inside. Um, yeah, that's that's a lot simpler. I can go back to the suicide door uh, on this side. Be uh, no, I can't. Um, all right, so I'll figure out the door on this. Um, I already have an idea how to fix it. All right, so that's good. Um, got that door going. The interior, the new interior is much better, I think now. Um, pretty good work on that. So I think we'll end it here. Uh, did good interior work at the doors done, and then in the next one we'll continue on the Katie. Did I want to stay with the Katie? Did a little bit. I want to get um, an air vehicle up and running. So hopefully, um, you know, it it's up and running pretty well. It just needed the ability to do some rescues, and then um, you know, I need to work on some of the systems, uh, mostly making it so that I can um, making it so that I can navigate so that I can go do some of these rescues. All right, so see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.